Hello, my name is Data. Hope you're doing well. If you got the Kepler R or the other one in the story mission, you'll realize that that ship is very ugly. So I have rebuilt mine to meet uh, some better specs and criteria for my personal playthrough. And what I'll do is I'll go through the interior, then we'll take a look at some of the stats and take it for a little fly out into orbit. See how maneuverable it is. I've painted it in black, black, with the third color being neon green as a highlight. It still popped up a lot of neon green. So let's walk inside. I have Captain, the large ladder bay. I use the ladder so it immediately puts me into the first floor. It's just a loading screen. There should be and will not be any other ladders on here with the way I was able to configure it. Although sometimes ladders do show up, but the vertical and horizontal hallways make a difference. So we end up starting out in the medical bay. And I'm going to head over to this side. This is a two by two living quarters. This, these are Stroud Eklund day, huh? modules. I have filled this particular vessel with as many windows and ports as possible. So as I walk around, I'll head towards a window. We'll get a view out the place. This has a nice couch, some dumbbells and weights in the corner, another seating area. Hello, Major. Have some knickknacks stored up in the back there. And this is the first window. I lowered the structure piece outside and put the turret on top. And that allowed for a window view through there. Hey, Captain. Headed out of this room, go back to where we enter the ship from the ladder outside. I'll head back. This is a vertical hallway piece that was integral. This puts us into the workshop area. That's the slim docker. I flipped it and put it underneath the vessel. Here's all the crafting stations. closes out into a desk area with one doorway to the computer lab. This is a two by two structure Stroud. Eklund it comes with a storage container with 150 limit in there, which is very good. Not all of the modules from different manufacturers come with a storage unit. So if you can find one that has one, definitely Hello, place that in Jeff. your ship. All right, back into the main hallway. Heading on through the workshop area, back over the docker, through the vertical hallway. Now head into this area. This is the Battle Stations by Stroud Eklund. It also comes with a navigation table. It's a two by two and I've added some more portals and windows to it. it looks like it's starting to get dark outside so the views will diminish. I find it nicer to be able to look outside your ship if you're inside, see what's going on out there. Although I noticed that the portals on top don't necessarily add any extra light in. I'm going to head back. This is a locked into its own. The captain's quarters. This is a Nova Galactic for a specific reason and it also comes with a storage unit and I like the way the inside was decorated or laid out with its own little bed space cabin and a storage chest with another 150 max weight in there. People ask if the storage units are safe. They are safe as long as you're not switching ships around or going into the building mode to up because that changes the cargo but it should end up in your cargo manifest if it leaves the actual storage unit. That's how it's supposed to work anyway. 
You see there's some windows in there. That's a cabin quarters with the private entrance into the armory. This is a one that also has no mannequins, but it has a lot of the weapon crates and a storage unit. The Deimos Armory. So as long as you're not looking for mannequins, the mannequins come in the Nova Galactic Armory. If you're looking for a storage unit, it's the Deimos. Right, we're in the back of the ship. That was the private captain's quarters area. Try to keep that close so the other crew on the ship don't wander in there. We're back to the main hallway. This is where we always enter from outside. And I'm gonna head through the medical bay here. All systems looking good, boss. Comes with a research station, pharmaceutical lab, and into the stairs, the cockpit, bridge module, the only one that comes with stairs and makes the whole no ladder build possible. Up here it has the cargo and some more storage. The views are pretty decent out the front windows. And it brings me to the upstairs. Another vertical hallway up top. This prevented a ladder from appearing below. Sometimes ladders will just show up. You can add some other pieces to change the layout. All right, this is a one by three living quarters. It comes with two bunk beds, added some more windows on the side and opened that up a little bit. And another latrine, WC, bathroom on the ship. This one's lit up, it's very nice. More cargo storage area. Keep that door closed just in case. And this goes into the 2x3 Stroud Eklund mess hall. Lots of space for the crew to come up here and eat. Sometimes they all show up at once. It must be lunchtime. Have more windows, a little private seating area and this comes with another storage crate and putting a window next to it did not remove the storage crate so that was good it's nighttime outside now lots of seating area so I would say I threw the kitchen sink at this particular build rammed and jammed as much stuff in there as I possibly could. Here's a cooking station. And that is the kitchen sink build. Here's more windows. And another kind of actually a useless room back here. They should have done a little something with it. Maybe added more storage. Let's head on back through the hallway. Let's head towards the bridge. Maybe we'll take off here, see what it looks like flying away, and then go. You know what? We, we need to check out the stats. Let me take a look down here. And right, we're good. That's what the other hallway looks like. Let's look at the stats here. It has Room for 10 crew, which is two more than necessary. 40 reactor, plus your bonuses. With my bonuses, I have over 9,000 cargo. And the weapons are an A, B, and a C. The C are always the auto turrets. The A is a helion beam. And the B weapon is the six Vanguard projectors. 
definitely have some horsepower and some weaponry on there. And back up the steps. It's very nice to not have to fidget around with ladders. Alright, let's take off. I'll change perspective out of the cockpit. See what it looks like. Hear what it sounds like. Thrust is firing. Very cool. I added the six engines in the back. They're C class, but each one only takes two power, so you can add six of them for max mobility. This is a 100 mobility ship, even though it's a massive monster fully stocked with mega weapons but adding the engines and that pretty much that, these engines pretty much give you the mobility you're looking for the SALs you have to go through the story bits to find them so I don't want to give any spoilers here but pulling into them that's what the weapons look like without the auto turrets going off. All right, that's a quick review, overview, look at the Kepler as I've changed it from that jalopy into a battle cruiser. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.